Are you excited to create your AWS account and get started with playing with the cloud? These are the things you would need. Number one is your personal details, including your address. Number two is a valid debit or credit card. And you need your mobile phone as well. AWS is providing you access to very powerful infrastructure. You'll be able to create a number of resources in AWS. And that's why they want to be really, really sure who you are before they provide you with the access. And that's why this process can be a little tedious. I would recommend having a little bit of patience during this process. The great thing is that this is a one-time process. Once we get through once, you never have to go through it again. Let's get started. What I recommend you to do is to search for AWS free tire. I, you can either click the ad at the top, or if you don't see the ad, you can click the free computing services AWS free tire link, which should be one of the first results. This would take you to the AWS free tire page. The goal of AWS free tire is to provide you with free hands-on experience with the AWS platform products and services. And to be able to make use of the free tire, we would need to create an AWS account. So let's go ahead and say, create an AWS account. Let's get started with the signup process. The first thing you would need is your email address. This is called the root user email address. So enter your email address in here and choose a account name for your AWS account. Once you fill these two details, click verify your email address. If you check your email address, you should see a message like this with the verification code. So you should receive an email as soon as you enter the details on this specific screen and click verify email address. And on the next page, you can enter the verification code and click the verify button. If you didn't receive the code, the first thing I would recommend you to do is to check your spam folder. If there is no email in your spam folder, wait for five to 10 minutes. If you don't receive the code after five to 10 minutes, go ahead and click resend code again. So make sure that you enter the verification code and click the verify button and you should be taken to the create your password screen. This is where you can enter your root user password. So your email ID is your root user and the password which you enter on the screen is what is called root user password. So go ahead, enter your root user password and also make sure that you confirm it and click continue. On the next page, you'll be able to provide your contact information. You need to choose if you are using AWS for business purposes or personal purposes, and also your contact information, your full name, phone number, country or region, address, city, state, and postal code. Make sure that you read and agree to the terms of the AWS customer agreement and click continue again. On the next page, you need to enter your billing information. This is where your credit or debit card details will be useful. So go ahead and enter all the details that are requested on this specific page and click verify and continue. One of the things that you need to remember is that AWS will not charge you for AWS usage as long as you are within the AWS free tire limits. To verify your debit card or credit card, AWS might do a transaction or a hold up to $1. So you might have a transaction like this which happens to verify your debit and credit card. Once you verify your debit card and credit card, the last step is to confirm your identity. So what you need to do is to verify your phone number. You can choose either to get a text message or a voice call. So go ahead, enter your mobile number in here, enter the characters for the security check and click the button at the bottom of the page. Once you receive the SMS or the voice call, go ahead and confirm the identity on the next page. As it says in here, sometimes there can be a little bit of a delay up to 10 minutes for you to receive your verification code. If it takes longer than that, you can go back to the previous page and try again. Once you enter the verification code and click continue, you will be taken to the page where you can select the support plan. There are multiple levels of support that are provided by AWS. We are just interested in the basic support, which is free. So let's, so let's choose basic support free and click complete sign up. Congratulations for completing the entire process needed to create an AWS account. If you click this go to AWS management console button, you'll be taken to the AWS management console page. You can also reach this page by searching for AWS management console in Google. Over here, you can click sign into console. This will take you to the sign in page where we would want to use the root user to sign in. 
the root user is the email id that we made use of to create our aws account so go ahead and enter the email address in here and click next on the next page you can enter your password this is the password you would have chosen when you were creating the aws account go ahead and sign in this should take you inside your aws management console congratulations creating a aws account is a tedious process but it's just one time so all the hard work is now behind you let's start exploring the aws management console starting the next step